Hi, my name is Mike Mahan with the SMA Solar Academy. In today's segment, we're going to talk about a common error code with our Sunny Boy series of string inverters. And that error code is VAC, or voltage on the AC side. Now this error code arises if the voltage on the AC side of the inverter is out of spec. And what that means is if it's more than 10% above or 12% below whatever that nominal voltage is supposed to be. Our 5000 to 8000 series Sunny Boy US inverters have multiple VACs that they can work at, 240 volts, 208 volts, or 277 volts. But the plus 10%, minus 12% holds true for whichever one is the nominal value. If that voltage the inverter sees on its terminals here is outside of that range, it will get flagged for the VAC error. Not only is that total voltage is out of range, but if there is a neutral configured in the system, if the line one to neutral or line two to neutral voltage is out of spec, it will also flag that error and you'll see a slightly different error, VAC L1 or VAC L2. There are several common causes for a VAC error. Top of the list is probably loose wiring. So if there are any loose wires or loose connections between the AC terminals and the inverter, all the way back to the utility panel that the inverter ties into, this can lead to a VAC error. Now the reason loose wiring can lead to a VAC error is that a loose connection will act as a resistor in the path between the AC terminals of the inverter and the utility. So the utility hopefully is sitting there right at that nominal value and the inverter has to have a slightly higher voltage to push its current out onto that utility grid. Now if there's a resistor in the path between the inverter and the utility grid, the voltage of the inverter has to overcome any drop across that resistor. So the voltage will have to go up correspondingly out of the inverter to get across that resistor and come onto the utility grid. And if that resistance is big enough, the voltage will go up and up and up on the terminals here. And eventually the inverter will say, I have to go outside of spec. That qualifies as a bad grid and it gives the VAC error and shuts off. Now the remedy for the loose wiring is pretty simple. Just tighten down the connections. Now we in the manual for the inverters talk about the proper torques for these terminals and also for the disconnect, the proper torque for those connections. So you have that as a reference and then anywhere else along the path that might be the possible culprit, tighten down those wires. And you can use a multimeter to diagnose kind of what, what connection is the problem one. Just check the terminals from the inverter back to the utility and see if there is a big voltage uh, jump or drop, you know, at each segment and then tighten down the culprit wires. Now the next common cause is insufficient wire size on the AC run between the inverter and the utility panel. So if the resistance of that wire run is too high between the inverter and the utility panel, again the inverter will have to have its output voltage be high enough to overcome that drop and still be at the voltage for the utility. And if that voltage rise gets to be too large, the inverter will again kick off with a VAC error. Now this particular cause of a VAC error highlights the importance of doing proper system design and calculating voltage drops before installation. Because at this point, if that's really the culprit, you need to replace the wire with a wire of bigger diameter. And depending on the install, that can be an involved task. It might be very simple as pulling a larger wire through a small piece of conduit, but if it's trenching across an, under a road or across an object, then that becomes really costly. One other reason you can see a VAC error is if the utility is actually close to or out of spec itself. Now this is not very common, so it's probably not the first thing that should jump to your mind if you see a VAC error. But if you begin to measure with the multimeter from the terminals of the inverter all the way back to the utility, and you're still seeing a very high voltage close to out of spec or out of spec, you might need to uh, contact the utility and ask them to come out and do some measurements. Now really you could measure all the way up to your utility meter, but once you're on the other side of that meter, it's the utility's responsibility to make sure that the grid is within spec. So at that point you really have to hand off the problem. So you can measure from your inverter all the way to the limit of your equipment, and then it's the utility that has to resolve that problem. So those are common causes and remedies for VAC errors. Now if you've gone through the troubleshooting, looked through the manual, think you're doing everything correctly and everything seems in spec and you're still having problems, feel free to call our SMA service line 1-877-697-6283. My name is Mike Mahan with the SMA Solar Academy. Thank you for joining us for this segment and see you again soon.